In this video, we will show how to use the EDN Color Blocker program. The EDN Color Blocker program is used in two cases, when we want to increase the blocking of UV light, or when we have too few tones available to make a good correction. In the first case, we are looking for whiter tones in the image, and in the second case, we want to increase the range of tones on the sample table. This lack of tones is recognized immediately after the production of the first transparent digital negative. Here we notice on the printed sample of the step table only a few good color tones. The printing of photos with a colored negative is almost identical to the basic EDN procedure. It differs from it, only in that we first find the best color to block UV light, and then, we add color to the inverted and mirrored image. So let's start with the practical work. As in previous videos, if we haven't done this yet, we first coat the paper with a light-sensitive solution. Then we find the standard printing time. Now, we can find the appropriate blocking color. First, we will need a sample EDN HSB2 TIFF file for our work. We go to the easydigitalnegatives.com website and then to the downloads page. We print the EDN HSB TIFF file using standard print time and digitize the image. Its size must be 2895 by 1711 pixels. Then we open the online program EDN Color Blocker. We go to easydigitalnegatives.com, position ourselves above the Run menu, and click the EDN Color Blocker command. We drag and drop the image file of the HSB table sample into the Choose File or Browse button. The program calculates the appropriate blocking color in thousandths of a second. In the upper range of the results, we see the optimal color, that is, the color we use to expand the color spectrum. In the lower area is the maximum blocker, or the color that best blocks UV light. In most cases, we use optimal blocker. In our case, we click on the file with the optimal blocker, for example, on the LUT file optimum LUT 1D. Now, if we want, we can set a more accurate print time. We've learned about this white tone correction process in previous videos. The only difference is that we now change the black band on the transparent film to the chosen color. In our example, we open a program Adobe Photoshop, we draw a completely black rectangle and add the selected color to the image. We go to the adjustments area, load the LUT file calculated by color blocker and print the image. Then, as already mentioned, we gradually expose the image. In the next step, we make corrections to the transparent negative. In the digital photo processing program, we open the file EDN RGB 256 TIFF. Of course, we can also use other files, with 101 fields, files intended for spectrophotometers, etc. We invert the file, mirror it, and add the optimum LUT 1D file in which the blocking color is stored. Then, we print a transparent film with preselected printing parameters. We now calculate the corrections. Making a correction with such a colored negative is now the same as in the previous description. The step table is exposed to standard printing time and developed. We then scan or photograph the sample, crop the sample image, and resize it to the correct size. Of course, we can also use a spectrophotometer sample. We drag the sample file to the Choose File or Browse button of the EDN program and click on the correction name. In our case, this time, we will use a correction stored in the Adobe Photoshop curve. Now, let's repeat. In the first step, we looked for the best blocking color, and in the second step, we made minor corrections to the negative. We can now make a negative of our photo. The procedure is the same as we just described. In the digital photo processing program, we open our photo. If we have previously saved the file for soft proof, we load it and make the desired corrections to the photo. We then assign corrections to the photo. We load the curve with the correction into the program. We execute the command image, adjustments curves. We invert the file and mirror it. 
We can now add the optimum LUT 1D file in which the blocking color is stored. Then, we print a transparent film with preselected printing parameters. In the end, we expose and develop a picture. And that's all. Thanks for your attention, and get creative until the next series of videos.